Hi guys and girls, Coops here from Game Slobs. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to replicate the skill you just saw, which I have named Igea. So basically what this skill does is restore the user's HP and MP as a percentage based on your current TP, or FP as I've called it in my game. So for example, if you have 50 TP, then the Igea skill will restore 50% of your max HP and max MP. If you have 16 TP, it will restore 16% of your max HP and MP. Naturally, the default limit of TP is 100 points, therefore you can restore up to 100% of your HP and MP using this skill. If, per chance, you have changed the maximum value of your TP to go above and beyond 100 points, then we can simply add in an IF statement to compensate for that which I'll demonstrate later in this video, so keep watching for that. Just to let you know, I'll be uploading lots of videos like this one for you on my channel to help you guys out with your RPG making adventures. But there isn't going to be a set schedule for these videos, so be sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon to make sure that you get notifications of when I upload new videos that could help you out. So, here we have the action sequence I've put together for the skill. Keep in mind that there is no MP or TP cost to use this skill and the scope is set to the user. But this can be changed to one ally or all allies depending on your specific needs. But here is how it works. I've used variable 31 to store the user's current TP value. Then next we need a separate variable to manipulate and get the value of the healing that will be done. So, variable 71 in this case is that variable. First, we set variable 71 to equal the user's max HP. So in this case, it's 501. Then we multiply variable 71 by variable 31. So let's say that current TP is 16. That's max HP, which is variable 71, times by current TP, which is variable 31, so that is 501 times by 16, which equals 8,016. Then to make that value a percentage, we simply divide variable 71 by 100. That's 8,016 divided by 100 to give us our value 80.16, which will be rounded up or down to the nearest whole number, which is 80. So from there, we can just simply put in the note tag HB, plus variable 71, which as we know is 80, colon, user, show. We obviously want to put the show part in there so that the amount will pop up on the screen. Let's not make our players do the math now. And that's the basic principle. You just need to repeat the note tags for MP as shown here. Let's use the same example really quickly. As variable 31 was set up earlier, we don't need to set it again, so we just go straight into set variable 71 to use as max MP. Now it must be equal to reset the value of the variable. Otherwise, you will be manipulating the variable based on what it currently is, which is 80. So be sure to make it equal. If you don't, you'll get some really weird results. So variable 71 equals users max MP, which is 103. Multiply it by the current TP, which is 103 times by 16 equals 1,648. Then variable 71 divided by 100 to get your percentage equals 16.46. Rounded up or down is 16. It would only be rounded up if the decimal was 0.5 or above. Then basically set MP plus equals variable 71 to get the result of plus 16 MP. So what we would see on the screen is that the user of the skill would gain 80 HP and 16 MP when using this skill at 16% or 16 TP. Now don't forget to add in the bottom TP minus variable 31 user to remove all the user's TP. This will obviously prevent players exploiting the skill and becoming pretty much invincible. Now for those of you who've changed your TP limit to exceed 100 points, you can do this if statement. 
if users TP is greater than 100, then you change variable 31 to equal 100 for 100%. Else, or otherwise, you change the variable 31 to equal the user's current TP. Make sure you add in the end, and then just the same as it was before. Here's a screenshot now of how you would add that in. And that's it. A copy and paste version of this action sequence can be found in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you need any help with any other weird or wonderful skills using action sequences, please leave it as a suggestion in the comments below and I'll do my best to find a solution for you either in a comment or in another video. Also, if you have a game demo or full release that you'd like me to play, I will be covering other people's games on this channel and giving you my honest reviews and feedback like Drifty, just with our adverts every two seconds, lol. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.